What is good guys, we are back with game 2 between ABR and updated Kanto, let's talk hyper speed about the teams real quick. So I know Kanto's team is a pork man team with lead Excadrill, Focus Sash, uh, Scarf Ladias and Scarf Greninja, Double Scarf, Specs Tabu Lele, Sub Electrium, Z Magnezone, SD Pinsel with Frustration Facade and Quick Attack. And ABR's team I would say it's Defensive Lando, Assault with Magirna. Mixed defensive packs, more Spadev, a uh, Scarf, Kartana, and then either Z-Move Zygote or Z-Move Hooper. We do see a Landris uh, versus Greninja lead. ABI should just go into Toxic packs. Kanto should just u turn out predicting that. And then, um, like, ABI is never staying in here with Land, right? But yeah, he's gonna u turn here on the packs, and then he has a few options. He can either go into Magna Zone, and then go for Flash Can, or he can then go into Pinsir and SD up. The reason I say that, because even if the pack stays in and Skull burns the Pinsir, he has Facade. So that would do um, a, a lot to the packs, right? He does make the Pinsir play. His other option would have been Lele, but since ABR has an AV gear, there wasn't really a point in going Lele. So I assume Kanto is going to SD up, uh, because like I said, if ABR burns him, Facade would get boosted. And ABR also can't, as ABR can't get really pivot into Landers here, because... Um, the Pinsir has Hypercutter, which means it doesn't get intimidated before it Mega Evolves. So it goes into gear. Uh, he still doesn't Mega Evolve, which is smart. Because if the gear um, lifts a hit here, which um, I don't know if ABR knows that, but the Pinsir, like I said, doesn't have Earthquake. So Flus to Frustration will do a bit more than half, it wouldn't kill. So if ABR Volt switches here, lifts the Frustration, and then goes into Lando. Um, nah, never mind, he would get the Intimidate off technically because the Magina would Volt switch after. But the thing is. Lando would still get blown away um, from plus by plus one frustration. The crit is unfortunate, but I don't think it matters. ABS only play here is go to Scarf Katana or go to Zygarde if he has E speed. So he can go Scarf Katana, but he has to be a bit careful. I'm not sure if Sacred Sword would actually kill the Pinsir. Because the reason why I say Sacred Sword, if it kills, there's a Magnezone in the back. So if you lock into Leaf Blade or Smart Strike with Scarf Katana, the Magnezone can trap the Scarf Katana. So I think E speed would be, I guess, a bit more would be the safer variant in the sense that you don't have to fear the, the Magnezone coming in on your Kartana afterwards. If Sacred Sword actually kills and Kanto doesn't want to risk his Magnezone, he could also pivot uh, on the Kartana into either Ladi or Lele, even though that sounds risky going Lele on a Kartana. But if you predict Sacred Sword, that could definitely be an option. So he goes on the Kartana, this definitely has to be Scarf looking at the team. And I don't think that Kanto is going to go hard into uh, Magnezone and risk that. So he goes into Ladi, and ABR is going to switch here into, I guess, either Hooper or Magirna. Because um, yeah, Gear obviously can come in because it resists Ladi's move, and Hooper obviously has good Spidev. Um, but yeah, Kanto makes a double into Zone that would have covered the that would have covered the Katana staying in, that would have covered the, the, ge the Gear coming out, and ABR pulls out the Z move Hooper. Oof. It's pretty much going to die because I know it's not a Salt Vis, I know it's... Uh, move Magnus and I always said that. So um, Kanto is most likely gonna go for rocks here. ABS is either gonna go to Landris or predict Kanto to go for rocks and stay in. I mean to be fair Katana was never really staying in on the Ladi in the first place anyway but Hooper was like overall a fine play by ABR. And yeah he predicted to go for rocks because a huge dark pulls off and now he's not gonna stay in. Hooper's uh, still nice in his match. It means that Lele cannot spam its Psychic Step, especially because the gear is like low, it can technically spam its Psychic Step, but Hooper Alive means it cannot do that. And since the Lele is choice, it has to decide what it wants to do. And yeah, ABR is going to switch here. I was thinking into Landreth, yeah, okay. So Kanto breaks the Landreth, goes into Lele, but now there's the thing, he has to predict correct because it's his choice like Lele. So he just Moonblast because he doesn't want to let the Hooper come in for free. Maybe he gets up the Rocks. Um, I guess he doesn't need, he doesn't need the Landreth for too much and Rocks ensure that the Pinsir dies. But yeah, Kanto can still spin with Drill. And I think ABI can just go into Toxapex here, yeah. The, the Lele is locked into Moonblast. I think Kanto has to double here because the Pex is really obvious. The thing is, what would you double to? Pinsir dies to rocks. I guess he could have doubled to Excadrill there. But then he still has to predict, so this is just tough for Kanto. Um, yeah, I'm quite a fan of ABR's team, actually, not gonna lie. But it, it was super weak to Pinsir if the Pinsir actually had Earthquake. So, Infestation packs as he, he Moonblasted again, maybe trying to catch ABR on a double. Maybe it's just gonna recover. He Infestation means the Lily is trapped and then it's locked into Moonblast, so Pax actually weakens the Lily here. He's forced to stay in and click Moonblast again. Uh, maybe I can just spam recover here. 
Is he toxic? Actually, that, that was that was really smart. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was fine. Um, so now Kanto's still locked in. Okay, I thought he could switch out. Never mind. So yeah, that was definitely a correct play, toxicing then if the Lily is still trapped in a turn after. I thought it would the infestation would end one turn earlier. Damn the infestation is still going on. Okay, this is this is lasting longer than I thought it would. So it is pretty much a dead top with Lily now. Uh, it dies to ro rocks. Um, if it would have lived the poison, but it dies to poison anyway, what am I saying? So maybe I can just go into his gear here. I don't think he needs that. I can take his Lando as well. He doesn't need his Lando. He just recovers. Um I guess that was yeah, because if the laddie went for Psychic, then Hooper got a kill afterwards. I mean, to be fair, maybe I was so far ahead, I don't think it mattered what he did there. As he's... Um, max... He's speedy defensive lander with leftovers, wow. He outsped the drill, and I think the drill is max speed on his team. Oof, okay, that caught me by surprise that the lander was faster than a drill. I guess it's like... A speedy variant for, for defensive land. Like, it's not really defensive if you run that much speed that you outspeed drill. So, that makes me think that his Toxapex um, has a bit more fist death. Like, it's more mixed defensive. So, healing wishes back the, the pincer here. And he can fire off a frustration. ABR is gonna sack the the Magiana here with the fume. I oh, sack the Hooper, okay. Uh, yeah, I guess, yeah, if I can Hooper ensures that pincer cannot SD up, okay. Th that makes sense, that makes sense. So he goes in the Landris here, um, Frustration is gonna kill the Landris. So he was defensive knockoff. That's quite interesting. So now he can go into Kartana and click Smart Strike. Or he can go into Zygarde. Yeah, he goes Kartana. My computer's about to die, I hope it doesn't die before the game ends. Smart Strike, yup. Um, Scarf Greninja um, forces this out. ABI just goes Pex here, plays it safe, no reason not to. Ice Beam comes out, maybe I can just click Skull here, and I think Pinsa... I don't remember if Pinsa dies to rocks, but the game's pretty much over. I think Pinsa dies to rocks, yeah. He Skulls. And doesn't get the burn, but it doesn't matter, because even if he freezes the packs, burn saws the packs out. Thank you guys for watching. ABR wins this um, 2 and 0, moves on to top 8 of S Tours. And I already uploaded Blunders. Um, Blunder vs. Kanto the other day, and yeah, my computer's about to die. So I'm gonna turn this, uh, end this recording real quick, hope you guys all enjoy it. And more Smokto series are going to be coming. Have a fantastic day. And congrats to ABR.